Good morning, my beautiful public watching TV. If you do watch TV today, uh, you, you see that I had yesterday a gentleman, and now I have a lovely young lady, see? I don't fool around. And uh, she's also a very close friend, her and my, and my friend, the husband. Is a very, they're very nice people, they're good, good family and everything. And uh, I'm here to, to ask her to tell me a story. And, uh, and I appreciate the, that you engage on Gino's show in Acton. I appreciate so much. I hope you enjoy the, the story that she will tell me. And uh, I, will I will let her and mention uh, introduce herself, even though I know their name, their last name, where they live and everything. Would you be kind enough to uh, introduce yourself, uh, young lady? Sure. Uh, my name is Mary Regan, and I own Wayside Kitchens in Littleton. And uh, I've been friends with with uh, Gino for a long time. Uh, Jim and I uh, are very good friends with uh, him and Pam. And I really appreciate the opportunity to come and do the interview with you. This is fun. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And now you got to initiate the beginning and the end of the story. Why? why Gino invites you here. Okay, so Gino invited me because um, I own Wayside Kitchens and uh, he thought it would be a good opportunity for me to introduce myself to a different audience, uh, his audience, um, and he wanted me to tell the story of how my business came about and what it is that we provide that is a, in good, um, uh, a good service for the community. So my name is Mary Regan, and again, I own Wayside Kitchens, with, and we are located right at the Littleton Common, um, across from the post okay. office, pretty easy to get to. And we do kitchen, kitchen renovations, and we do bathrooms as well. Uh, we go, um, okay, so first I'm gonna talk about me right. <laughs> a little bit and give you a little bit of my background. Um, I moved to the United States in 1986. I was a nice young lady um, moving from are. the Dominican Republic. And um, I, um, I lived in New Jersey for a little while. Then I moved to um, uh, Colorado where I attended college and I, um, I became an interior designer. Um, put myself through college as well too. And uh, so, during the time that I was in college, I decided that um, kitchens was my thing. Like, I loved uh, working on kitchens. I did a kitchen internship, and I fell in love with the process. Um, it gave me the opportunity to be uh, more creative and also to use my talents, you know, my, my brain basically, you know, putting all these uh, pieces together that uh, you need to put together for a kitchen. So it was, it was quite fun to do that. Um, so I enjoyed it and, um, and decided that that's what I was going to do. So I lived in Colorado and then I met my husband, Jim. And uh, of course, you know, the rest is history. We fell in love and, uh, and he is originally from Massachusetts. And, uh, and so ever since I met him, he wanted, he just told me, I wanna go back home to my family. So we made that happen in 1999 when we packed all of our stuff and just drove from Colorado to Massachusetts. And we ended up in the Acton area because one of his brothers lives here. And so um, he still does. And, um, and so we created a, um, basically a business, you know, in, in the Acton, Acton, Littleton, Westford area. And, um, and so we were running the business from the home and decided that um, a, a little retail space became available in downtown Littleton where we are. And, um, and we're like, let me, let me find out, you know, see if we can do a showroom. And, uh, and sure enough, you know, in 2008, we started with that and um, created this really pretty, you know, showroom, a one room space at the beginning. And then later on, you know, we purchased the building and, and uh, we have 
remodeled the place pretty much the whole thing. So it's still very quaint, you know, very uh, simple, but people get a good feel for the kind of work that we do and the quality of the cabinets and also the quality of our work. Uh, so it's really, really nice and it's also so local that people love coming to our place. So now I can get into what we do with, with the kitchens. So um, I go and I meet with clients and I find out first, you know, what their needs are. What, uh, do they need the full kitchen remodeled? Uh, do they need um, to move a window? Do, are they removing a wall? Are they uh, needing new floors? You know, there's a lot that goes into a kitchen. Yeah. So therefore, That's it's true. just a, a, a pretty complicated room to put. You, it's easy to take apart, but it's actually it quite, a, a, quite difficult to put it back together. Gino knows, he knows a little bit about construction. So, um, so it's, it's, like, it's, it's like I said, it's really easy to take it apart, hard to put it back together. Uh, so it's a lot of components to go into a kitchen. And I usually you know, tell my clients, the kitchen is really one of the most, um, the most used rooms in the right, home. Right. Um, we use it every day, uh, morning, afternoon, you know, every day we use the kitchen, use it and abuse it. And it's also one of the rooms that requires the most components to to purchase to remodel. So cabinets are uh, probably is the biggest cost, um, second to the construction portion uh, of putting the whole project back together. Uh, countertops then and other materials, but you know the cabinets are are a pretty good chunk of, of the money in, in the uh, invested in the kitchen. So I come in, I design the space, I give my clients a couple of ideas of how the space can be arranged so that, um, so I improve the space. When I come in, you know, it's like they have uh, an older kitchen and it's like, um, I, just, I just look for ways to improve it. Uh, sometimes I get the freedom of, oh, we're moving walls, we're doing this. Uh, so it's, it, it's great but not everyone has that ability. So we work with many uh, different budgets and different needs of people. So if you just need a kitchen, like come in, replace the cabinets just the way they are, we, that, we do that as well. That's easy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so our business is located in, in downtown Littleton and it was very critical to me and to my husband to be uh, able to service the community around us. And Littleton, as we know, is a small town with multi-families multi, uh, and different, uh, different, um, different stages or different uh, uh, economic, backgrounds, economic backgrounds, right? So we get the small houses by the lakes, you know, and, and then we get the bigger homes and whatnot. So we wanted to create a space where, uh, or a business where people could feel welcome and comfortable coming to us. Um, people might perceive that we are, um, you know, like, oh my goodness, they're super high end. And, and we can be, but it depends on the project, you know. Right, we really right. can work on, yeah. on, on any kitchen. A lot depends on how, how you do the project. Right. Like, you know, if you keep it simple, then the budget stays simple. Right. Or it also depends on how much work you need to do in the project, right? right? So, um, so it's really, um, there's no hidden magic to it. Um, we do have cabinetry that is um, made in the United States, which we are cool. super proud of. And um, it's made in Missouri by a small town, um, and in, in a small town, and they actually pretty much hire everyone in town. So they all work for this particular company. It's a small, it's a family owned business. Beautiful. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're tiny. They're, they're actually put out a lot of product, uh, but it's, um, we're very happy that we were able to find a good cabinet company that is made in the United States. Um, so made in the USA. Yeah. Yeah, so that is super important to us. Yes. And uh, so, um, so these days, so the next step would be to um, have the client review the design and pick, you know, which one they like, which is, which is fun, part of, you know, mm -hmm. fun in the, um, to do. So then um, once they pick the layout they want, 
then I bring out all of my uh, subcontractors and they come, they look at the project, they determine like, okay, you're gonna need this, you need that. Um, the plumber looks at the, under the sink, <clears throat> right. um, see <clears throat> if the sink is vented. Um, you know, it's, it's, the whole thing is a reality check. Like if you haven't done anything to your home- You have to redo it. In, in 40 years or 50 years, you 30 have to years, it. it's like, the codes have changed, everything has changed, and we're mm. updating. So yeah. we're updating a lot of that stuff that hasn't been kept up with, which is, which is fine. Yeah. But yeah. it's just like understanding that uh, we are ruled by, by uh, building codes and so right. forth, and we have to abide by them. That's true, yeah. um, So the electrician then comes in <clears> also, <throat> and we go over like, okay, what do they want for lighting? Um, you know, how much upgrading does it need to happen? Do you need a panel upgrade? Because kitchens, you know, can require a panel a upgrade. Panel, yes. So it's a, it's a lot of different factors. And then we figure out what it's gonna take for the carpentry work and the, if it's plastering, painting, you know, it's like to make one of those kitchens look, look really nice, you know, right. it's like, it does require quite a few uh, trades. Yeah. It's the same for bathrooms. Yeah. It's just that the space is smaller, but you need just about everyone that you need in a kitchen renovation, you also need in a bathroom renovation. And so it's it's like, and it's a tighter space, but then you need tile work. No cabin is so much, but, but you need the tiles, you mm -hmm. know, so, and then the plumbing and so forth. So it yeah. is also, uh, it's the second most expensive room to remodel in a home, so. So then we, um, we put together a comprehensive estimate mm -hmm. of, of the project, what it's gonna cost to do it, uh, based on the materials and also based on realistic labor. Uh, yeah. There's a few contractors or contractors generally just go to the project and they give you a ballpark a figure. Ballpark, yes. And they say like, okay, it's gonna be this much, you go into agreement, yeah. and then that's when they start, you know, kind of looking more deeply into what what is required. Mm -hmm. um, we decided a long time ago, it's like, we want our, we want to be up front as much as possible. And granted, you know, things are hidden behind the walls or under mm -hmm. the floors that we have no control over, but we do try to eliminate a lot of those issues by bringing the, the professionals to look first, right. and then we put together the bit for for the project. So, so then we review, yes. and if we go into um, into agreement that we're gonna move, uh, that the client is gonna move forward with the project, then then that's uh, when we order the cabinets and um, get a deposit on that, and uh, so that whole process, right. um, and then the cabinets are ordered and. Normally they take about four to six weeks to come in. Lately um, with yeah. uh, COVID, the, yeah. uh, the lead times are a little longer. They have been brought down to nine weeks, uh, which is excellent for the industry. So we're very happy about that. But, um, uh, and then after the cabin has arrived, then we go into the construction phase. That's when we uh, pull the permits, we do all the prep work and, and um, remove the, the old kitchen and uh, and then we recommend that people set up a, a kitchen. Uh, they don't have to move out of the home. However, it's not that simple <laughs> to live through a kitchen renovation. So we don't we don't tell them to move, but um, we do ask them to set up a, a kitchen like in a, a temporary in a little space. You know, like um, with your toaster, yeah, your yeah, microwave. Yeah. Yeah coffee maker, like things that you use to, you right. know, in the mornings, especially. Uh, so we recommend that you set up a little kitchen. The fridge, you know, we keep it plugged in uh, so that you have, you, you don't spoil all your, uh, the stuff in the fridge. Right. So that is, you know, pretty easy. And then we, um, uh, then we start construction. And generally most projects take, you know, depending on what you're doing for floors, right. like if you're doing wood floors or tile floor, uh, and that needs to be redone, you know, it, it can add, you know, two, three weeks, you know, to the project, just because we don't cut corners, we do the job right. So if it's wood floors, you know, they take so long to put in and also to refinish. Right. And uh, the same with the tiles, uh, all the prep work, drying time, you don't want people 
um, walking on them, you know, once they get done, and they're so pretty. They have pretty, to wait. Right? They have to so, wait. Um, so then uh, the construction, depending on the scope of the project, they can take anywhere from two months to six months or even nine months, you know, in some cases. Um, sometimes those projects that take that long too, they include more than the kitchen. We are general contractors, but our main goal is um, not general contracting. Our projects begin with a kitchen or a bathroom. So that's, that and then from makes there, us different. If they make a, mm -hmm. some uh, adjustment, they say, can you do this for us? They do that. When they see the kitchen, then they say, oh, let's do this, let's do that. Might as well do it all at once. Exactly. So that's yeah. what happens. And sometimes, yeah. you know, you hear these stories about, oh, my project costs so much, you mm -hmm. know. And it's not necessarily all the kitchen. is no. that they it's added hot. other things Dang. to the kitchen. Because they like to see nice and they look good. People come in and say, oh, that beautiful. Isn't it? What a beautiful job. Who did it? Yes. And then yeah. they say, well, this young lady did it right there. You go see her. Yes, and, oh, see and Maria. Yeah. So the 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 uh, the thing is that um, they like our subs, so they want to come in and and like and, they look and, and, and keep working with them because they like them so much, you know. Yeah. So um, we don't, you know, give out the names or whatnot. But and then know, how many so how many if, years you've been in the business? Let so them we're know. celebrating our twentieth anniversary this so, year. We started in two thousand two. So they haven't started yesterday, so they started 20 years, and they're still there. What does it tell you? Tell you that uh, the people that receive this particular job for the kitchen or the floor or whatever, or bathroom, they say, I did it, and I went to see Maria in Lilliton, right across from the post office, and she's still in business. The reason that I invite her to come in Gino's show is because not because she needs work. I says, maybe when you slow down, you know what I mean? I, I want people to know your story. And they might say, you know, I want to go see that room that she has. Let's see what happened. And then you say, hey, maybe I need a bathroom or a floor, you know, this and that. You never, you never know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you got to enjoy life while you had it. Mm -hmm. So you, that's the, the reason that I brought my friend here. And uh, she, she, I'm sure she has other stories. The story to tell me. Go ahead and continue. <laughs> Thank you, Gino. So, so Gino is so right. Um, yeah. So people do. Um, once we are doing the kitchen, then they want us to do other things, and so it's quite exciting, you know. And that's how those projects sometimes linger on to the nine months and whatnot, or mm. six months, uh, because realistically, if you are. Um, you start off with the kitchen, but then you're doing that other room, that other room. It's like it just adds time and material and, right. and more money right. to the to the scope of the work. So it's yeah, it's um, there's no secrets really in construction. No, <laughs> to be quite frank, that I have learned, you know, over all these years is like it's really is a lot of common sense and. Uh, um, and people like nice projects, you know, like Absolutely. in the end they. Yeah. Um, so one time I asked Jim, I go, so Jim, you know, I'm, I was trying to do like a little marketing campaign. Mm -hmm. I go, Jim, tell me what, what do people say to you yeah. about what they like about the kitchens, you know, when we finish doing the, the kitchens. He goes, well, one of the things they tell me is how much they love the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> So they repeat. And they just, they and they just cannot believe that they waited so long to do, do it, it because right. it was such a fun project and they're like loving it. They're opening doors, opening drawers and just like, oh my God, I can't believe it. I have so much room in my kitchen now. I can't believe how bit, much bigger it feels. You know, so, um, it's kind of, kind of funny. So for the longest time I had that, um, like a little slogan in my, on my van that said, yeah. like, if you want to love your kitchen, <laughs> call us. <laughs> call, a, call a you, yeah. And I like that. If you love your kitchen, call Maria and Jimmy. They will fix it for you. Yeah. They yeah. will make it beautiful. Oh, and I've seen many, many jobs that they, they did, and I, and that's why I'm so proud of her. No, thank Not you. Not only Jimmy. about Maria, but my friend Jimmy too. Yeah. 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 Because so, she is, she's got it right up here, <laughs> and Jim does the work. So, he, and he says, "Yes, honey, I like that." <laughs> 
yeah, and tells it. me stories from the job site, right? <laughs> so um, so uh, Gina, Gina touched on something, and that is my, uh, my husband, Jim. He's a critical part of our, um, our business. He is the, uh, uh, the guy with the patience of a saint in, uh, at the job sites, and he, um, he does the installations. Right now, we're beginning to hire a team to help him uh, so that uh, he's not responsible for every single job. But I tell you, we have found these two amazing carpenters Good. who um, I... Uh, they are like talking to Jim, <laughs> really, like, like really, really. Uh, I'm impressed. Younger uh, kids, and uh, and they have so many years of experience, and I am quite impressed. That's really um, nice. The, and they their work is is pretty close to Jim, so no I kidding. am really, really happy. Yeah, because he's very fussy. Yeah, I, and Jim don't is tell very anybody, but Jim is very fussy. Oh he's yeah, gotta be perfecto. Yeah. So yeah, so so that's the thing that it's been hard uh, for us is like because we'd like to be involved, like we are involved with every one of our projects. I I go to the job site or um, I'm hand holding, I'm managing, I'm doing. I we do everything, you know, pretty much. And uh, so for the longest time, I've been wanting Jim to do some portions of it, like the project management. Yeah, yeah. And it was hard to let go of that and uh, to just have him. But he has so much knowledge of yeah. uh, the construction and what needs to happen and how things need to move forward that he would make a great manager <laughs> also. So I had to convince him to take the management job for our company and, uh, and dress differently which has been interesting, you know, to try to get him to yeah, because, not dress like an installer, but dress yeah, like a manager. I know, but the question is, you know, he knows what he's doing, it, and you cannot work with the beautiful clothing. <laughs> I went through that. But um, well, I, know I, now I you, like nice things. I you know, know. <laughs> you, that's what I'm saying. That's why you went to college. I mean, they it's tell okay. you exactly how people are supposed to dress up and everything. But when you're working, like Jimmy, yeah, unfortunately, he has to use the old clothes so they don't you don't ruin the new one because they're expensive. Yeah, and so. I guess now if he does uh, move from worker to management, uh, nah, now he's got to have a tie, a white oh, shirt. Oh, I don't know about the tie. I don't oh, know okay. if I can push that. All right. All right. <laughs> Okay. I'm, try I'm trying. Okay. So a nice collar is fine, you know, okay. to go and manage the jobs. But it's, it's been a transition, quite okay. interesting. And uh, so I think he, the transition is going to go a lot smoother Good. now that we found these two gentlemen. Gentlemen. They're local. Yeah, And yeah. they're also, like, very much uh, match our company, um, like, how we feel about our company. Good. They are easy to talk to, so I feel like I really found a, a pair of That's uh, good. good installers that it gives can Jimmy work. a little break. Yes, yes. Uh, so it's 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 a fantastic team. We're a growing company, you know. Good. Even though we've been in business for twenty years, you know, it's like um, adjustments need to be made for co to companies once in a while, and um, and that's one of them. So and we're excited. It's kind of be I'm excited a that little you bit. told me all this story. Yeah, yeah. You, so. you, you kept it to yourself for a while. <laughs> well, we, I want to make sure that I can convince him to dress. Okay. <laughs> as soon as you convince him, okay. So yeah. he, actually, he's got to be convinced 60%, right? Yeah. Go well, ahead. Okay. No, he's, he's doing it. He's all doing right. it. He's, uh, he, he had to let go of his van. And okay. get a truck rather. I got it. So truck. yeah, yeah, okay. it's been it's been a challenge, but right. it's fun. It's fun. He's he's getting used to it, right. and I'm and very, that's important to I us. I am very know. proud of not only about Jim but about you, because what you just told me, uh, uh, people need to to hear from you, not from me. I'm only a, what would you call it? I'm there. Open the door. I open the door, and then they come and they tell me a story. And I'm so proud of her. So that's why I said to myself, I'm going to ask her if she wants to come in TV. I asked her several times, but she's too busy. I'm too busy, Gina. I'm too busy. Uh, I caught her at the right moment. <laughs> I said, please, dear Lord, I wanted to come in TV. You know what I mean? So people know that what her company is doing. 
And now she told you, so if you decide to make some arrangement, just go and say, Maria, would you be kind enough to come to my home? I wanted to change the kitchen and maybe the bathroom. And then you will say to yourself, ooh, that looks nice. Why did we wait so long to go see Maria? And then you say, well, Gino at the lady in TV on Gino's show. And then you, when you see me, you say, hey, Gino, how you doing? You have any other people that you know? I know quite a few people that can help you guys, but not this particular lady. <laughs> That's hers, as a unique. I have no other people with different ability. They come and tell me story. So I hope you understand that she took time from work because she's always busy. Every time I go, <laughs> she's on the phone. Oh, uh, I'll call you, Gino. And uh, so I leave right away before she throw me out of uh, the door. <laughs> she's so busy. And, uh, and then when she's fine, she calls me. She <laughs> says, OK, you can come back for five minutes. So I go for five minutes. And she tell me what she has done, and then I leave right away because you never know. She's phone, phone. She's busy, so take advantage while well, she's not busy. And I'm very happy that you were kind enough to watch Gino's show. Is there anything else a young lady would you like to tell us? No, I just want to say thank you. It's been oh, so, thank such you. a That's pleasant nothing. experience. About time you thank gave me, you. Gave me the opportunity to bring you to, to Gino's show. Oh, this has been wonderful. And okay. I thank you very much. No, no, no. And, you know, my, it's my pleasure. really nice. And my thank pleasure. you, everyone, you know, for listening to our little story, I guess. Well, you know. she has a, a, a true story. I mean, you have to realize it. Between her and, and I, she come from a different country, and I'm proud of her because she went, she loved this country so much that she went to college, she learned more, and then she took a, 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 a practically, not a job, but a responsibility. How would it do the job? So I have to give her credit. I come from Venice, Italy, so, you know what I mean? When I came here, when we went to school, we had to learn three different languages. You know what I mean? And when we came here, I was able to find a job right away. Not because I looked for it, because somebody else looked for it. It says, Gino says, uh, when we came here, here in this country, we came legally, and we had to wait. I had relatives that were responsible for my mama and my papa and myself and my sister. So it took, took a little time, and my papa says, look, this is a, your new home, so you behave, you respect and love this country because this country is the best country in the world. And I still remember what my father used to say that. So I hope everybody else understand that uh, they love this country. You know, sooner or later, we gotta get together. Not fighting and call people names, stuff like that. Us, we appreciate it. We don't have no problem. And I wanna say, I wanna say thank you so much to watch Gino's show and maybe next week I'll bring somebody else. So you can see one, two, three, four. Look on Gino's show. You know what I do to help other people? I dance with beautiful ladies. You know what? I raise money for St. Vincent de Paul. And how do you think I, I make, I make arrangement? I, I beg people to come. I mean, you know, young ladies say, do you have time, half an hour? You know what I mean? And, and every year I bring checks, not made to Gino, no, or Gino show. It's made to St. Vincent de Paul. And I dance for an hour and a half with four ladies in the last couple of weeks. And I was able to raise $2,000. And then when I go to Arizona, I'll bring it to the secretary. And they, they come and they say, Gino's Gino coming, and the lady is crying because she knows I'm going to give a beautiful check. And she helped other people, they have nothing. Nice. So I hope you see this show, and I hope you come back when I ask you to watch my program, Gino Show. You have a good day, and God bless. Mm -hmm.